So, got ourselves a new package here, DHL. It's crazy. Can't remember what day I bought this. Ordered this three days ago from China and I paid the 30 bucks. Arrived in three days, crazy. So, <clears throat> I have a project with this camera in mind. I won't disclose much about it yet until I build it. It's like a ego satisfaction avoidance thing. I gotta like complete it before I present it. So we've got an HQ camera, 12 megapixel, IMX 477 has a, a C CS adapter. And then had the oh crap, sorry, I opened this earlier. I was surprised how tiny the box was. Making sure I got everything. Got an 8 to 50 millimeter lens. Make sure this is focused here. Using the 55 mil for a change. Yeah, 8 to 50 millimeter. And I'll demo it in a minute what that zoom rate is like. I gotta first get it all wired up. I'm excited. This was the lens box here. Right? Yeah. Came with this adapter. The camera had this cap that I took off. And this guy here fits on here. And this fits in there, so you need those parts. And it came with this very long cable, which is good. I need that for my case. I thought this came... Oh, and I think I have a spare adapter in here, too. <coughs> spare, or it fits a different size. But they look the same. Yeah, I think they're the same. So I think the uh, the camera came with an adapter and the lens came with an adapter. Either way, I'm good. So I'm gonna plug that in. This is a different camera. Unfortunately, I had to sell my A7R3, <laughs> but I finally will use this A7 II that I broke the screen on. Um, yeah. So I'm going to get this plugged in and going, and then I'll demo the zooming. I, see, I hope it has zoom. I mean, that's what I bought it for, zoom. It says telephoto. That's concerning that there are three, because I have to mechanically connect stuff to this for my other project. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Just got a fresh install. Doing updates. Um, this is a Pi 4, I think it's a 4 gig version. I've had this since uh, 2020, so I didn't have to pay <laughs> a lot for it. Or actually, it was a gift to me. But there's that. Um, uh, actually, you can see it says 2018 on the board, too. Pi 4 Model B. Uh, yeah, so. This uses a Pi Camera 2, I believe, because it's 64-bit. If I'm wrong, I'll comment, but I had to figure out how to use that thing for live stream with the uh, the navigation robot thing I've been working on, the gimbal head. This guy here. There's a Pi 2 in there, or Pi Zero 2, and then... Uh, I'll get a measurement and I'll do the focusing and see if it zooms. Hopefully it does because my project would die if it doesn't. It'll do something because I know that uh, the higher the millimeter count, the like smaller the thing is that you're looking at far away. It's It takes up you know a big part of the screen but it's like very tiny. That's why you can't use those lenses like up close. But the, the zooming you know, that's the concern. 
my particular purpose. I need this thing to be able to zoom far away. I'm not uh, super far, but far enough. So I was a little worried, but we're in business. I had to read the docs, read the manual. This is uh, for Raspbian and Bullseye. Users running on Pi 4, please do the following. I had to edit this uh, uh, boot config.txt file. Set this uh, camera auto detect to zero from one. DT overlay equals MX477. And now it works. Uh, I grabbed this uh, live stream code. That's called a MPEG server.py. I'll put that in the link in the description below. But uh, now I'm going to mess around. It is uh, working. Let's see here. So I'm going to do the calibration, or not calibration, I'm going to see what the zoom is like. Okay, so this test setup is not great, but I wanted to talk about some parts of this camera, or a lens setup. This is a full-size tripod. That's my cat playing the box. Um, let's see, let me get some focus. So, the back, there's three movable rings. The middle one is uh, open and close. If you close it, there's no feed. It's just black. You can see that here. There. Open. Close. Then you can uh, tighten that so it doesn't move. That's why the knobs have like a flat head notch. <clears throat> then the uh, the front one is the uh, the zoom. See there. Uh, it says, what does it say? Wide and telly. But the other thing is, I, I'm i calling it the focus ring, the back. But that's how you, like, focus what you're looking at. So you go back to wide. Oh yeah, and I should get some dimensions here. Um, this will be hard, but let's see if I can do it. Oops. So this wall is about uh, I would say like 63 inches away. That's just a matter of parallax. It's like 63 or 64 inches away. So that's the... Oh, and the other thing is I can go up there. Measure the size of the blinds. They're three inches wide each, roughly. So those are the dimensions for the magnification. And then uh, on the screen you have farthest out right now. Yeah, farthest. This is focusing, and then zoom in.
Yeah, that's about as good as you're gonna get. Unless you back away, then it's... Then you get it clear. So yeah, there's the focusing factor. Or zooming factor. Oh, see if I can figure that out mathematically. Yeah, uh, so I'm going to figure out how to um, interface a uh, servo to move this ring and this ring. I know uh, servos aren't great, but the control loop will use the live camera feed. It'll be a challenge. Fun one.